Hey, so today we're going to talk a little bit about the mindset and maybe even goal setting as well. So um, I was listening to one of um, Dean Graziosi's uh, podcast uh, yesterday, in fact it was, and he was talking about how he'd visualize things to get them done and how to achieve things. And I think it's so inspirational really when you listen to these guys about how they actually get things done and I think it's important for us to try and emulate that and try and do that as much as we can so one of the things that he actually pointed off was was there's so many things that we don't want to do or or don't like in our lives and it's so easy just to start rattling those things off and he gave an example where he pulled someone up on stage and started saying okay well tell me what you don't want and he just like give a whole list of things out, you know, whole list, one after the other, one after the other. And then he stopped him and then he said, okay, now what do you want? So now what are your goals? What do you want? And he started saying, well, you know, I'm not really sure. You know, because it, it was difficult because we're, we're so focused on what we don't want in life, the more you think about it, you know, whether it be in your, your health, your relationships, your business or anything like that, there's so many times where the, something negative might come up and we get transfixed in that or, you know, you might be doing something with uh, your business and you're trying to get it to work and it won't work and it's all these sort of things. What he actually pulled back to was how he'd actually visualised, you know, he just wanted to go for an exercise of people saying, OK, well, let's picture the end of this year, end of 2020 what would and that was the best year of your life. What would that year look like? What would you have achieved? And then you kind of like start thinking about, okay, well, I would like to have this, I would like to have that, I'd like to have this, I'd like to have that. And then you start going, okay, right, well, how can you actually start getting there? How can you actually start building towards that? What things do you need to put in place to focus on and what things do you need to get rid of? So from from my point, I know that sometimes there's so many different things you can get yourself stuck into and there's so many times where you get focused on the wrong thing or you procrastinate or you don't actually get things done that you want. So I started making lists every day. Now I'm trying to make sure that I complete those tasks or if I don't complete those tasks, I'll put them onto the next day and I'll just keep moving forward. And I try and focus down on the things which are actually goal-based. So if I think, well, okay, well, I need to get this, then I need to put that task in place to actually make sure I do it. Or if I'm trying to do sort out a funnel. Well, I need to, before I can start sending traffic to it, I need to make sure the landing page is right. And then even before that, as soon as I've got traffic going to it, I need to set up a split test. I need to have order responders or set up a domain name, customizing it. So there's all things that we can do. And a lot of times we get stuck not doing anything. I mean, personally, even today, I have a list of things to do. I've done some, but not all. And it's getting late in the day now. It's just a little after 6 p.m but I know that I've still got those things to do. So I was sitting there by the computer and I was I was watching a live and the next thing popped up a video. Well, I watched that video and then another video came up, then another video came up. And before I knew it, I'd lost an hour. Completely unconstructive, completely pointless other than for my own entertainment. And sometimes, yeah, you do need to switch off. You do need to recharge, but now I'm sitting there thinking, well, what if I'd actually got work done in that time? What if I, where would I actually be now? What could I look at in my to-do list and think, I could have done this, I could have done that, I could have done that. Okay, I didn't do it. But what I can do now is think, right, now I've got the impetus. Now I wanted to record this live. So now I'm going to tick that off the list. Now I'm going to make sure it's done and I'm going to put it out there. So you're focusing on the things that you can do rather than the things that you don't want to happen. And the more that you focus on those things, the more that you focus on things that you want to push forward for, then life will get so much better for you. Less will be, it should be stress-free, or well not stress-free perhaps, but you'll have a lot less stress because you won't be beating yourself up over it. So um, I'm not quite sure I got this t-shirt done today. It could be backwards. It should say do the work. And that is the whole point of it. You just got to do the work sometimes. So if you enjoyed this video, then drop a, a hashtag in there. Just drop it in. Do the work, okay? Do the work, guys, and we'll speak to you soon.